that looks dusty. You have information about the missing Kunari? I am to help you, yes. Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. I would prefer that you were not involved at all. But that is neither here nor there. The Arashok is growing violent. He might want an excuse to end this peace. I suspect that if the Arashok wanted to take over, he simply would. For all we fear that heretical Kuhn of his, its demands have done more to keep him in check than any of our efforts. Besides, would Kunari stoop to trickery? There is no precedent, but there is unfortunate evidence of influence on our side. It sounds like you don't want them found. I must think of what is best for the Viscount's office. Bringing attention to such an incident benefits no one. You would do nothing? The Kunari are neutral hostiles at best. There is no relationship to salvage by overextending ourselves on their behalf. I'm having a hard time picturing the abduction of a Kunari entourage. Unfortunately, they were not at their best. Their swords were tied into their sheaths, as I advised. It seemed a respectful compromise. Even I know you cannot separate a Kunari from his weapon. Has anyone reported this to the Kunari? Maker, no. I'd be signing the messenger's death warrant. He'll find out soon enough, of course. And when he does, the Viscount is rightly concerned that the illusion of peace will dissolve. I'm sure you have suspicions about what happened. My concerns are well founded. This could not have escaped the notice of the city guard, unless they were involved. Have any failed to report? Several. You should start with one of them. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty, I'm sure I don't know. A hanged man. Hanged man. Even I know that. Right. Then you know what to look for. I can't imagine this has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. Please keep this quiet. The Viscount is under enough scrutiny as it is. Good day to you, sir. What do you want, Hawk? I have no interest in adding to my distractions. And yet you sent a delegate to the Viscount. A brief attempt to educate. If the Dwarf had stolen the Sarkamek, it could have been used to show the price of greed. But you know the outcome of that. These fools are determined to be wrong. I won't waste the effort again. A courtesy, Arashok. The delegate and his guards are missing. Anyone else, and those words would have been their last. You are handling this, not your buffoon of a Viscount. I am. Then I will wait, but know this. The provocations we have suffered have worked. If this is not resolved, I can fulfill my duty to the Kune with far less annoyance by sifting through rubble. As if there wasn't enough pressure. A lot of coin for this place. That's right, pal. Tonight I'm paid and blessed. And all I had to do was turn my head. To all my friends. Hey, step back. I know important people. We're gonna show this city what to do with heathen oxmen. Guard captain, would you like to have a word with your man? Guard captain? Who? What? <gasps> Who? Who what? I don't... Who bought you? Who bought the honor of a proud guard of Kirkwall and made him a drunken Mabari bitch? I, I don't... I don't know. He was a Templar. I swear. He had the seal of the Grand Cleric and everything. It's true. The penalty for abandoning your post is ten days on the wall. 
I expect you to report in the morning. Uh -huh. <clears throat> There's your answer. A Templar. With the Grand Cleric's seal, no less. Well done. The man was a drunk. Surely you don't think Grand Cleric Elthina is funding zealots? It's a careful chat about missing Kunari. Keep an open mind, Hawk. Elthina isn't behind this. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her it concerns the Kunari. Sarah Hawk. Sister Patrice. Mother Patrice. Time has changed us both. Grand Cleric Elfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? Funny how you and issues with the Kunari seem to go together. And you always assume their side. I was naive when last we met. I did not want you dead. But I felt a death was necessary. That may be too fine a point for you to understand. But you must admit, you came out the better for it. A Templar may have misjudged an order and abused the Grand Cleric's authority. I assure you, the Templars would never embarrass the Chantry, at risk of the Knight Commander's wrath. Men were hired for the righteous task of kidnapping a Kunari delegate. A pause that says you knew, but does her grace? The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. It sounds like you've been bad. This will shock her grace, no doubt. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, let me offer you something. The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown... unreliable. Confronting him may do us all a favor. And he is what to you? He is my former bodyguard, Ser Von El. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as... reconciliation. Meet me at this location. I invite you, Sarah Hawk. Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. Need I say I'm skeptical? It's her game for the moment. Is that supposed to be Andraste's face on your crotch? What? That belt buckle thing. Is that Andraste? My father had this armor commissioned when I took my vows as a brother. I'm just not sure I'd want the Maker seeing me shove his bride's head between my legs every morning. We're here to... Nice place for a rally. Good choice, Farnell. Patrice is here somewhere. Wonderful. Like any beast, remove the fangs and it is lost. They are weak before the faithful of the Maker. The only certainty in their precious cune is death before the righteous. Sevonel! Take a knee, faithful. The Chantry blesses us. You claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember, Sarah Hawk? 
The Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? You want to fight? Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Templars are cowards. They only pick on those whose lives they already hold in their hands. Righteous! Destroy them! to bring this mess to the Viscount's attention. Madness! Madness! Yes, Excellency. Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements, oh, it could not be worse. Her Grace had no knowledge of this affair. I trust she will deal with it swiftly. You killed them? All of them? A mother serving the Grand Cleric allowed this to happen. Are you quite sure? She held a blade with them? Told them to fight you? No, I cannot say that. No, of course not. Blasted mother. You have no idea the storm these allegations would cause. It would destroy what support I do have. I have had trouble with her before. She is... slippery. I understand. I will make my inquiries. Gently. And you should be careful in your associations. For now, we have other problems. We have the Delegate, but... I can't return the bodies to the Canari in this state. Sarah Hawk. You know the Arishok. What should I do? Hiding this would only make it worse. It would, wouldn't it? I'm losing my sense of how to balance this nightmare. I appreciate your help in this matter. As bad as this is, it could have been much worse without you. Kirkwall owes you. I owe you.
enter if you must. So you could not rescue my delegate, but you killed those responsible. How do you explain the condition of their bodies? A fanatic used them to incite others of his kind. I accept that. I expected worse. I have seen every vice and weakness of your kind, and how few of you take responsibility. Your Viscount remains a fool, but you are not. Panahedan, Hawk. I will keep one good thought about your kind. Go, Hawk. Another time. Hello, Mother Patrice. Sarah, Hawk. It is good to see you. The shame that Varnell brought his order is most unfortunate. The shame he brought? Praise the Maker that you were his champion in that dark place. Look, we're both adults here. Can we drop the pretense? I think you'll find that I have said nothing threatening or untruthful. You and your careful language. I gave you what you wanted at considerable cost. Vornell is more manageable as a martyr, but his loss will be felt. You have avenged heretical Kunari with human blood. Surely that is good enough for you. You're no more satisfied than I am. Vornell was a fool, but the facts remain. An offense to the Maker goes unchallenged. I will give you no further cause to shame the Chantry today, but we will have this argument again. The Viscount's incompetence all but guarantees it. Sometimes you just know trouble is coming. Is something troubling you? Did you know someone used the authority of your name to instigate a crime against the Kunari? The path to righteousness is never as straight and narrow as we wish. I truly hoped this would not go so far. But do not trouble yourself. I will step in when it's time. Are you intending to stay neutral about the Kunari and mages forever? The Maker's time is not men's time. We do not need to rush. The Chantry is not a domineering father with the whip always in hand. She is a gentle mother who knows her children learn best when allowed to learn themselves. I'm giving it all up. I made a vow to the Chantry and it was wrong to turn my back. Sebastian, listen to yourself. You're as impulsive now as the day you turned away from us. Do you think the Maker wants another rashly spoken vow that you'll abandon when the next passion takes you? I will not. This is your life, child. Don't spend it being blown about like a weather vane. But here's Hawk. Maybe you can talk some sense into him. Is the Grand Cleric upset with you? She thinks I'm fickle, but I mean it. It was wrong for me to break my oath to the Chantry. I've turned against the Maker. And for what? Why would I want to rule Starkhaven and deal with jackals like Lady Harriman for the rest of my life? Do you see yourself as a prince or a priest? That's exactly the question I've been praying for guidance about. When I think of going to Starkhaven, Calling on allies like Flora Harriman and all the corrupt, scheming nobles. My throat swells shut in horror. When I think about staying, I'm at peace. If you give it up, what then? I suppose I must convince Elthina my commitment is sincere. Then I will remain here, to represent the Maker's interests as she thinks best. You should ask what's best for your people. 
not just for you. I do not have hubris enough to imagine it matters to the common people who rules them. Someone will take the reins. The fields will be planted, the crops gathered. No one will notice that a veil lives and isn't there. And I can devote my life to the Maker's will on Thedas. You're wise to stay here. No one trusts a man who breaks his oath. I cannot return to Starkhaven and subject my people to war without a clear sign that it's the Maker's will. I think Grandfather is smiling now, seeing me holding his bow. I understand you are of noble birth. My father was a chevalier. He had to flee Orlais when his patron was murdered. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have been suited for the life of an Orlesian noblewoman anyway. But surely you wish it had been different? To be a lady of Orlais and not a city guardsman? Not for one moment. I'd rather kill a bandit and save a merchant's family than know the correct dance steps and which rouge is in fashion.